What's up guys? It's Wilma Kaysen and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for being gone for a couple of weeks, but I am back. There's a blizzard in New Jersey and I've got a slew of videos to put out for you guys today, so stay tuned. First and foremost, if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. To my return viewers, what's up guys? I love you all so much. Thank you for your continued love and support. It means the world to me. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my annual Cousins Weekend that my sister and I organized. I'm going to go over how we plan it, the homes that we stayed at in the past, what we do when we're there, and at the end, I've got a little special Black Panther get ready with me where we all go to go see Black Panther together. So, stay tuned for that. So, just to give you guys a little history, there's 18 of us. Yes, my grandparents had 10 children. 18 grandchildren and the great-grandchildren, I've lost count. There's got to be over 24 at this point. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But when you have a family that large, it's so easy to miss people at family functions. And especially when you're young, parents breeze in and out because you have in-laws. So a lot of our cousins really didn't get to grow up seeing much of the other cousins. And if they did, it was always very quick. But for some reason, my sisters and I were kind of always the hub. We always knew all of our cousins and spent tons of time. I literally spent growing up, I feel like I spent a few years with each cousin. They were all older than me. So I kind of spent maybe three summers with my cousin Chris, two summers with my cousin Jason. Like I just, I was fortunate enough to really have formed amazing relationships with all of my cousins. Some of the older ones, it took me becoming older because the gap was so large to be able to spend more time with them. So with that said, my sister Wendy and I, I believe it was her concept and we just kind of executed together. You know, we said, listen, we have to get our family together. You know, our cousins, there's so many missed connections. And this came way before my grandmother passed away. God rest her soul. She always told Wendy and I and my cousin Jonathan, we kind of were the ones who would take my grandmother grocery shopping. You know, I used to take her for a manicure and pedicure and stuff like that. So we spent a lot of time with her. And one thing she told all of us, even though the other cousins, she always said, you have nothing else in this world. You have family. I don't care what it is. You make time for family. Her thing was family, nothing else but family. So my sister and I decided to get everyone together. It started off with just one night. We decided to get everyone together. We went to Atlantic City for a night. We went to a bar slash club, had a couple drinks, went back to our rooms. The next morning we got up, had breakfast and went home. So I think in doing that, it was a lot of fun and we all kind of realized, whoa, we should do this on a larger scale. We should get a house and we should do this every year. And so that's essentially what happened. My sister and I hit the ground running, finding homes that would accommodate 20 plus people, 25 plus people, which might I add is extremely difficult in the Northeast area. As you go to like to Florida, I think Destin, Florida has huge mansions, reasonable prices, but it's destined florida it's far and this thing was so small to us at the time and we had not been experienced in it so we just wanted to stay local so we over the years went back to atlantic city across the bridge to a small town called brigantine we stayed there a couple years then we ventured off to rehoboth beach in delaware we stayed there for a few years i will link all the previous homes below just in case you're in the market for a rental property for a few days with your loved ones and then because our 10 year is approaching, I said, guys, why don't we take a stab at traveling? Like serious traveling over a two hour drive. They said, listen, let's let's do a road trip together. Let's, you know, maybe do a train ride together. All everyone was so excited to take Cousins Weekend to the next level. Again, just Destin, Florida was too far. So when we came across the Outer Banks, which is about seven and a half hours from New Jersey, we decided to, to go forward with it. It's so difficult finding homes. You can find big homes, but it's difficult finding homes that sleep comfortably. 25 plus people. In the homes that we've had before, we had a rotation going. We used to pick names out of a hat. Maybe one year you're sleeping on a twin size. Maybe one year you're sleeping on the pullout couch. You know what I mean? But it was hard to find a home that really let all these people sleep comfortably. But 
our prayers were answered. We somehow came across Keys Vacations. I will leave the link down below. Keys Vacations had two properties that just popped up that were brand new on the market. One was Ocean's 18 because it had 18 bedrooms. The other was Ocean's 24 because it boasts 24 bedrooms. So obviously we didn't need the 24. There's 18 of us if everyone comes. We only need the 18 bedroom. So we knew that we were probably gonna utilize about 14 of those. And the great thing was that every, in the 18 bedroom house, I think 14 of the bedrooms were master suite, which was perfect. The other two, the other four rooms were I think children's rooms with bunk beds and things of that nature. So my sister and I got on the phone, I signed a contract, got them their money, their deposit, and boom, we were off to the races. Well, we get an email stating that the homeowner who built the home wanted to keep the 18 bedroom for his family and rent out the 24. So they upgraded us for free. That's right, they upgraded us from the 18 bedroom, which was more than we needed, to the 24 bedroom for free. Guys, when I tell you this house is outstanding, again, I will leave the link below to the home. Click on the virtual tour. This home is four floors. It comes equipped with a game room. It has a theater, yes, a full out theater. Each floor has a kitchenette. Each floor has two hall bathrooms. The main living quarters has a great room. Then there's three huge tables to eat at. Almost two kitchens, basically. There's two prep stations, but it's huge. So it feels like two kitchens with big open space in the middle. And on the top floor is the game room, which again, no detail left out. I mean, a pool table, ping pong table, two arcade tables, a poker table, you name it, this game room, game floor had it all. It even had a bar that we stocked with wine and beer. I mean, it's it was such, such a beautiful home. So you guys are probably wondering which room I stayed in. As soon as I signed the contract, I went in the virtual tour and I saw this room on the second floor, nestled in the back, and I said, please, I wanna be first to get there. Usually, my sister and I, we have to get there first to do a walkthrough with the homeowner and make sure everything's okay. But this time we didn't have to do that. But four people got there before we did. And I was like, I'm not gonna be petty and be upset if I don't get the room. But I was like, I really, 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 really wanted that room. And my thought process was the following. It was on the second floor, way in the back, above the movie theater, below the great room. At night, those areas are quiet. Outside of my room, I had a kitchenette because there's a kitchenette on each floor. So I had access to the kitchenette, a pool table, a seating area, and a television, which I didn't need, outside of my bedroom. A patio door, which led to the deck, which led to the patio door and deck from my room. I was in my own world. So of course I wanted that room. So when I got there and nobody took it, I was over the moon. I didn't have a walk-in closet, not that I needed it, and my bathroom was okay, not that I needed, you know, a double vanity or anything because it was just me, but I would give up those two things in order to have my own little wing on the second floor. So the next thing that we did was we opted this year to go with a personal chef. Now, in previous years, we definitely used to pair off. Most people are there with their spouse or a long-term partner. So, you know, let's say me and my partner would do breakfast and then two other people would do lunch and then two other people would do dinner. And it was like that for the whole time that we were there. Most of us, just like most of you, we work really hard. And yes, can I whip up some pasta for four people? Sure. To make a full spread to accommodate potentially 30 people, not my cup of tea. I'm not doing it. I'm not your guy. And my past relationships, they'll tell you, I'll cook you an outstanding five course meal for me and you. I'm not cooking like that for 30 people. It's not my wheelhouse and I'm not gonna act like it is. When I used to have my meal, my sister Wendy and I are always single around the same time and we're always single at Cousins Weekend. So we're always paired up as a part as a couple and when it was our turn to cook we're always like local italian restaurant meanwhile everyone else is slaving in the kitchen but it's just not our cup of tea so as we put it out there for the wider audience it turns out most people didn't want to cook and you have people who can cook really well we have a chef in our family but we didn't want to exhaust him because it's like you're off from work but you're still working 
So we just, we took a poll. Most people wanted to have a chef and that's what we did and it actually worked out. The chef cooked breakfast and dinner. We did not have him do lunch primarily because from our own experience, there's so much left over from breakfast and dinner the night before that lunch is typically just kind of like a smorgasbord. So we decided to leave out the lunch part, but breakfast every morning, we had omelets to order. You name it for breakfast, we had it. Waffles. Uh, did we have French toast? I know we had waffles, I know we had pancakes. Turkey bacon, regular bacon, you name it, we had everything. One night we even had a crab boil. I don't eat crab, never had a crab boil before, but it was interesting for those who eat it. Overall, it was really, really nice to have a private chef, and I will definitely do it again, and I think from the response from everyone, I pretty much think we're gonna have a personal chef from here on out. The last thing that we do, as I mentioned before, with the game room, we utilize the game room, but the one thing that we love the most is to come together and play games. Taboo is a staple. Another game, which is probably our favorite game, is Mafia. If you've never played Mafia, Google it, YouTube it, and then play it with your close, closest friends or family. It is so much fun. There's so many levels to it. Um, it gets very competitive, but it's fun in the end. We had a fun committee. My sister Carla was on the fun committee with Marshall and Sean, and basically they all kind of came with these fun games to play. One of the games that we played was a junk in the trunk, which is you fill empty tissue boxes with these small balls, and you've got to shake, 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 and whoever eliminates the balls from the box quicker is the winner. We also played a game, I don't know the name of it, you put a bunch of balls in a bowl, there's an empty ball, and basically whoever transfers the balls from the full bowl to the empty bowl quicker is the winner and you have to put the spoon in your mouth and you can't use your hands. So that game was fun as well. Just a bunch of fun guys. Just the weekend is food, family, fun, and drinks. <laughs> it's just so much fun. It's really, really a good time. The one thing that I really, really loved was that Black Panther opened that weekend. So we decided to go on Sunday together. We decided to don ourselves in all black and to go to reserve seats in the movie theater down there in the Outer Banks. And it was a wonderful experience. We took pictures and at the end of this, I will link a little small video that we shared with our parents. Of course, I put it together and and um, I shared it with our parents and our private Facebook group who were not able to be there with us. The question that I get asked the most is, how do you put this together? What's the hardest part of getting your cousins together? And it's easy. Finding a house, a piece of cake. If you're a large group, it is a little harder to try to find a large house. But if it's just a few of you guys, finding a house is a piece of cake. You can use websites like VRBO, which is what we use a lot of times. And, re and recently we're using Keys Vacations. There's a website for homes in Destin, Florida. So finding a home is the easy part. The hard part is getting 30 people on the same page. Getting the person who says that they're coming in July, and then as November comes, you're like, where's your money? <laughs> so the, the, the financial piece is really, really the difficult part. We're not made of money, so no one's fronting the bill for everyone and recapping it on the end. So that's the stressful part, is calling someone saying, I need $100, I need $50. That's the most difficult part about it. The travel piece, Everyone's pretty much on their own unless you're traveling together and you know like if you're doing a road trip you rent a van But again, it's just the money piece becomes the difficult part But if you do like we did this year, you just give people the option I, I gave them my PayPal address that I use specifically for my cousin's weekend and I told them payment plan I will send you an invoice every month or you can just send it on your own so the hardest part, and this is my third or fourth time saying it, is the financial piece. It's easy to get your group together, it's easy to book a house, it's easy to get there, it's easy to have fun. Money is always the tough thing. So if you can get over that hump, you can have a great weekend. So I hope that this video encourages you to get with your family, your friends, your college buddies, old co-workers that you miss, your sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, whatever. A group of people that you love and need to spend time with. I hope this encourages you to do so. Like my grandmother said, there's nothing like family. And I believe family comes in different forms. So get together with them, spend the time, create those memories. Once they're here, no one can take them away from you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it fun and inspiring. Thank you for watching. I will leave you with this clip of us getting ready and going to go see Black Panther. Thanks guys for watching.